Hey everybody, Joker right here. Um, first off, I want to say that I hope all you guys had a wonderful Christmas. Um, I know I did. Uh, had uh, fun, you know. Got some presents and things like that. Uh, hung out with family, you know. Had a nice big meal and felt fat afterwards. So anyway, um, pretty much this is just going to be my Christmas haul video, I guess. So everything that I got for Christmas that um, I just want to share with you guys. I, have to, I must say ahead of time that this was a very Star Wars Christmas. Um, quite uh, Star Wars was definitely the um, predominant uh, gift that I got. Um, so yeah, let's go check that stuff out right now. And here we are. So yeah, um, I have everything laid out on my bed right now because uh, I just it was just too much to just try and hold up. So let's just go run through the things, not trying to spend too much time on any one item, uh, like reviewing it or anything. But first off here, the um, uh, Walmart exclusive Discover the Force in 3D do-back from earlier this year. Yeah, very happy to finally have the do-back so I can put my uh, San Vinge Collection Sand Trooper on top of them. Um, no, I did, in case you guys are wondering, no, I did not get the Sand Trooper as part of Christmas. I've had the Sand Trooper for uh, a few months now, but now I finally have a do-back to display them on. So very happy to finally have a do-back. Um, let's see, moving on, let's get the do-back out of the way. Uh, Star Wars Omnibus. At War with the Empire Volume 2. I have Volume 1 and I've been needing to get Volume 2 for a while now. Um, and it, yeah, really good uh, uh, series uh, as, as far as I can tell. Um, from what I've read of Volume 1, I'm not sure how Volume 2 is yet. I haven't started reading it. Let's see what that says. T Tales of the Rebellion that take place between A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. So that pretty much tells you guys... When this is going to be, of course, by Dark Horse Comics, which unfortunately they will lose the license to make Star Wars comics at the end of this coming year, um, uh, at the end of 2013, I should say. So, but they've had a good 20 year run. Let's just hope that Marvel doesn't screw it up. <laughs> so, very cool. Um, here we have. Star Wars The Jedi Path. i um, very excited to finally have this. Um, not the big super duper deluxe vault edition that came out. This like <laughs> you like press a button it automatically opens up like crazy stuff. Um, but this is just the actual book itself. And I've only glanced through it but it seems really cool. Um, you can see like it's kind of like an in-universe book. And it's like uh, if like all of these uh, Jedi have possessed the book and they've written notes in it. And stuff. And see Yoda, Thame, Cer Cerulean, Cerulean. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Dooku, Qui Gon Jinn, Obi Wan Kenobi, uh, Anakin Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano, Darth Sidious. I mean, that's curious. And Luke Skywalker. And it's funny seeing all their different uh, little autographs. Some of which are a little impractical. I mean, look at Darth Sidious. It's, come on, he has like a little logo and stuff. So, you know, a little tongue-in-cheek at times, but the actual content of the book itself it seems really cool. Oh, uh, yeah, and you see this blacked-out part. It says here, uh, this is why I was actually, I was like, flipping through and I was like, why is this all blacked out? And I was like, he's, and it says, it's like a note from Luke. Uh, it says, these pages were already defaced when the book came into my possession. I don't know who tried to suppress the prophecy, but it was most likely the Emperor. So uh, I guess the prophecies we're turning to is the pro prophecy of the chosen one. It's a little unfortunate that um, they had it like blacked out, because I would have actually been interested in actually reading what the prophecy itself said. But you see, it's got pictures, then the notes all along the side. So a very cool book. Um, I definitely want to get the uh, Sith, the book of the Sith, sometime as well. Moving along, uh, this is really cool. The Star Wars Trilogy, really nice um, uh, binding on this. Uh, obviously, it's a not a paperback book. So this is actually really tough, you know, hardback. Um, it's got this really nice embossed and shiny uh, reflective cover. And pretty much it's like the tie-in novels for the first three Star Wars movies. Um, the original trilogy. And except for a curious thing about the Star Wars, that's actually... 
the one they included was one that came out before um, Star Wars actually came out. It came out a year before the movie did, and it was like supposed to like hype up the movie, which it it met with like you know average success. Uh, you know, it was people were just like, yeah, you know, it's pretty good and stuff. So it wasn't anywhere near like the phenomenon that the movie was. But, um, and it wasn't until, like, the actual, like, movie tie-in that came out with a movie that, uh, sold a lot of copies. That's really cool they included that. And it's got the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. And, uh, before each book is a little, uh, uh, foreword by George Lucas himself. So pretty darn cool. Yeah, I, I would say that this is like the nerd bible. <laughs> I mean, just, uh... Uh, just thinking about, you know, it's hardback, it's got the little bookmark in it. So, you know, put that in, uh, bed dresser and, uh, bedside tables across all kinds of hotels. I know, that was a bad joke. But, anyway, moving on, um, this is really cool. Uh, Star Wars The Ultimate Action Figure Collection. And, yeah, and there's a little stuff that came inside it already. Um... Most of you guys probably already know what this is, so I'm not going to really waste my time trying to explain it. Pretty much just a visual guide to every Star Wars figure made up to this point. Um, only a few exclusions of uh, maybe some uh, figures from the more recent waves of the Vintage Collection. Like for instance, I was flipping through, and you there's all the Jabba's. Um, I was flipping through and I could not find um, the Vintage Collection Grand Moff Tarkin. So I didn't know if I just like skipped over it or something. Again, I haven't had a super in-depth look at um, this book yet, quite yet. So I don't know if I was just like, uh, if I just skipped over that while I was glancing through. But it seems to me like they're missing a few different figures. But they do have the final wave of the Vintage Collection. You can see there's the Vintage Collection. Royal Guard, Sand Troopers, Savage, um, Star Killer, yada yada. But very cool book. Um, definitely a necessity for any Star Wars collector. And I do agree. I, I can't agree more with uh, Laugh It Up Fuzzball Seventy, who, who called it um, the collector, the Star Wars collector's bible. Yeah, so. We got the Nerd Bible and we got the Star Wars Collector's Bible. <laughs> yeah, so, um, awesome, awesome book. And the final book of this little haul, um, Star Wars The Old Republic Encyclopedia. So you might have actually seen this in the background of some of my previous videos. I actually got this early, but this was still uh, part of my Christmas. So, a very cool book. It talks a lot about... Um, stuff featured in the game, you know, the classes, the characters, the planets. Um, very cool book, especially if you like the Old Republic MMO. Um, moving on to another actual toy purchase. Um, Ronto and Jawa. Uh, pretty cool. Um, this is actually really good because this is actually my first Jawa. I know, I know, I don't have any Jawas. I'm a bad Star Wars fan. But yeah, this is actually my first Jawa, and is a pretty cool uh, piece, I must say. And I really like the feature on this, if I can... Oh, well, I might have accidentally... But pretty much, you just uh, push the back leg uh, back, and then it bucks, and uh, you, you have this little Jawa dangling. He's like, oh no! Hanging on for dear life. So, um, pretty darn cool. Alright, let's get some of these books out of the way real quick. Probably not the best idea to put it on top of something else I got to show. Um, yeah, I did get several games this year. I am a gamer still, even though I don't uh, usually do talk a lot about it for a reason that I can't record like console gameplay. So first up, we have Far Cry 3 for PlayStation 3. Um, second, we have Dishonored for Xbox 360. We have Halo 4 for Xbox 360. And Hitman Absolution for Xbox 360. Um, so, uh, so far the only one I've played is Hitman Absolution because I'm a big fan of Hitman and uh, the really fun games. And so far this game has been really good. Um, I've heard great things about 
all the other the other three, and I can't wait to try those out sometime in the coming weeks. Um, I got three uh, figures from the Vintage Collection. Let me pan here. We got Nian Num, Rebel Fleet Trooper, and Lost Wave Bespin Leia. So yeah, very glad to finally have these three. These are three that I've been wanting for a good bit now. Um, Nian Num. Now I finally have uh, him to go along with my uh, General Lando Calrissian if I want to display him in the cockpit of the big Millennium Falcon over there. So very glad to have him. Uh, the Rebel Fleet Trooper. Again, really, really good figure, actually. I, I must say that I, w- I was surprised by how much I actually like this figure. Um, and in fact, w- so with some of my Christmas money, I've ordered uh, two more figures. They should be here. Uh, two more Rebel Fleet Troopers. They should be here uh, Friday. They're really dirt cheap on Amazon.com, guys. I definitely recommend going checking that out if you want uh, some more Rebel Fleet Troopers or if you don't have any at all. Uh, they're only five dollars a piece on Amazon.com, so pretty much Amazon is telling you to army build this guy. So yeah, he's a really cool tr- uh, figure, and in fact, I like him so much he might be one of my favorites from the Vintage Collection in general. And he comes with tons of accessories and stuff. I don't, I'm not showing that off right now. Uh, we'll talk more about him this weekend because we will have an episode of figure pickups yeah i know everybody's excited round of applause I'm finally getting here to best and leia finally i have a good leia figure that i can display in uh the millennium falcon that's actually one of the big reasons i wanted um this figure so i can have a good leia f- to display in the millennium falcon again um so yeah very cool all three figures i'm really liking them um, let's see, what else have we not covered? Um, well, I guess I might as well show you guys the boxes for a thing. There's the box for the Ronto and Jawa. Pretty cool, and there's a little display box where the Jawa figure was. This is from the special edition Star Wars, the Star Wars trilogy. And that tells you about the action features. And on the side, again, just pictures of the same. And on the back, you can see some of the others. Well, there's a little bit of wrapping paper that uh, still taped on. The picture from the special edition of uh, A New Hope. So you can see where it was in the movie. And other things available that were available at the time in the Power of the Force 2 uh, line. There was Luke's uh, Skyhopper. Deluxe Boba Fett, uh, Deluxe Pro Droid, Lando, Bib, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you can see it for yourself. So, there's the box for that. Um, and here is the box for the Dewback. Um, it got a little crumpled in the mail, but that's alright because the figure itself is still in top shape. So I will not lose any sleep over a crumpled box. Um, again, to discover the Force in 3D. There's a nice little CGI image. Only at Walmart. Flipping it around. There's a little 3D image of the Dewback. Um, so put on your 3D glasses. Other vehicle available is Vulture Droid. And that's pretty much it for the packaging on the Dewback. Um... Getting on to another thing I got uh, from my uncle. I got this. this is pretty neat. Is a Star Wars mug set uh, complete with hot cocoa mix. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I must say um, these cups look really nice. Um, you can see they got what, and they got like several different images on each cup. Um, I can't really make out what's on the other side, but here we have the stormtrooper. That might be like uh, Boba, because I can see the Mandalorian skull there. There's Han, uh, Darth, and Yoda. Uh, again, can't really see what's on the other sides of these. I think that's Boba over there. Um, and then the hot cocoa mix. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's actually pretty cool, I must say. Um, I'm definitely really liking these cups. And I also got a few different shirts. Uh, 
first off we have this one if I can don't want to try and open this up all the way it pretty much says Death Star Skate Park uh, 87 and we got Darth Vader here rocking it out on a skateboard yeah that's pretty darn cool um, the other shirt I am wearing so let me turn this around real quick and uh, hopefully you can tell let me see if I can can't see what's on the screen let's see alright hopefully you guys are getting a good look at it. I can't really see what the camcorder's recording a uh, cool uh, shirt of Boba Fett and another uh, shirt that I got but is not currently pictured is I got a because uh, I wore it yesterday it's in the wash right now is a cool Army of Darkness shirt which if you guys are familiar with the movie it's a picture of Ash um, holding a shotgun and then saying this is my boomstick um, yeah uh, I love that movie yeah which you guys should go check out Army of Darkness if you haven't and another thing I got, which is not Star Wars related, is a picture here. It's got a picture of Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley. And it says, Cash and King, and the King. Because um, that's really the only uh, uh, country music I like is the uh, old, like, 50s, like, rockabilly and stuff. So, very cool to have a shirt of Cash and King. Thank you very much. So, uh, let's see if, I believe that is about it. Oh yeah, also technically, um, the Falcon was a part of my Christmas present, too, so, that is included again, I got that a little bit early. So, yeah, that is pretty much it, sorry if it's, everything's a little jumbled up, you know, just trying to get everything on, uh, the same screen again, just briefly glancing over what we got, do back, ultimate action figure collection, Bench collection figures, Jedi Path, At War with the Empire, the Star Wars Trilogy, the mug set, the t shirt the games, the Old Republic Encyclopedia. And that is it. So, yeah, um, this is my Christmas haul, I guess. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas if you uh, celebrated it. And, you know... Uh, be sure to share what you guys got, you know, uh, so you can check out everybody else's hauls and be jealous of things that they got and be uh, kind of full of ourselves with things like, hey, I got that. But, so anyway, that is what I got um, for Christmas. Again, wishing you guys, um, I wish you guys have Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys will have a Happy New Year. This is Joke Fit, signing out. Bye.